What is going on, y'all? It's your boy 3MG. We're back with another video. And today, we got 3MG stories. Now, mind you, I'm feeling a little bit congested. And I got a little suntan, you know what I'm saying? Your boy looking kind of kind of cute, you know what I'm saying? Look, I took a suntan. Your shit, your shit is sexy and shit, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, we got a video today, 3MG stories. I haven't done one in so fucking long. Earlier this summer, in June, this story's about when I got high in Jamaica. Bumba clot, my niggas. Bumba clot. I got mad fucking high. I'm gonna let you know right now. Do not eat edibles. Don't eat fucking edibles. I don't smoke. I drink sometimes, occasionally. But I don't fucking smoke for a reason. I, I think too much. When I got high before, right? And I thought about shit like Western Union and paying fucking bills and who the fuck was my president. I ain't like half of y'all motherfuckers out there who is able to smoke weed and get their dick sucked. I can't. I just That's just not the lifestyle I live. I smoke and I think about priorities and I think too fucking much. And I get my fucking thoughts are racing through my mind and I fucking contemplate doing dumb shit. I can't. I, I'm not that guy that smokes. I don't know. My decision making is fucking poor. But... I decided, yo, I'm going to Jamaica with wifey. We're going to a wedding, one of her family members. I'm going to get fucked up over there because I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be with her family and all of them. I'm getting high, especially if we're going to Jamaica, Jamaica. If we're going down there, I'm going to get fucked up. I'm getting twisted. I'm going to do everything I can not to remember what I've done, like everything. Now, before I actually start. Come on, smash that like button. Y'all been wanting 3MG stories for so fucking long. And I have stories. I just didn't want to spoil them out. I wanted to spread them out like butt cheeks. I didn't want to put them all up in it. You know what I'm saying? My pullout game is weak. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything. But look, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Anyways, though, the playlist to my 3MG stories will be in the description in case you ever missed any of them. But let's begin. So we go to Jamaica for this wedding. First day arrival, I fucked up. I had a fucking bomber jacket on because in New York, it was a bit breezy and chilly, but I ended up fucking wearing a bomber jacket in Jamaica. I know it's a fucking L, I got you. But yo, I, I didn't know I was blazing fucking hot. I swear to God, my balls, my fucking balls was sweaty and fucking wet. It's just fucking nasty. My fucking armpits and titties and fucking, it was just gross. I advise anyone who's going to Jamaica, just go fucking butt ass naked because it's fucking hot. Anyways, though, I arrived to Jamaica. We arrived, we take the fucking bus. Everybody, we driving, we looking at all the, the trees and the half made buildings. This shit look fucking amazing. It look beautiful. As soon as we get there, dude is checking bags and shit. He's taking out our bags out the bus. And as he's taking this shit out, he's taking out my luggage. He's taking my luggage out. He's taking that shit out. And every second he takes it out, he looks at me and goes, Gotcha, gotcha. So I looked at him like, huh? He went, shh, shh, shh. Does it again. Takes out another person's bag and looks at me. Gotcha, gotcha. So I got the call. I said, gotcha. He went, shh, shh, shh. But he took me to the bus. He took me inside the bus. You know what I'm saying? And he pulls out mad fucking trees of look of fucking weed. Shit looked like asparagus, my nigga, in a bag. It was like fucking eight fucking asparagus twigs. I don't know. There was a lot of them. And he was like $120. I said, yo, my G, I can't fucking pay you $120 in US, but I got 40 on me. He took it. I said, bet. I think it was 40 or 60. He took it, but I took all that shit in a Ziploc bag. I thought I was lit. Mind you, I didn't even smoke that shit. Anyways, though, that day we chilled, we relaxed, we did what we had to do. The next day was the wedding. That next day, everything went ah, ah. We went through, you know what I'm saying? Ah, ah. Shit was lit. Ah, ah. Anyways, when it was time for the party, my G, I was given Sour Patch Kids or Sour Straws, whatever they were. Shit was yummy as fuck. So I ate a couple of them. All right, cool. I didn't feel nothing, bro. So I have a brownie on me, bro. I have a brownie and a half. I took that half and ate that shit, and I was told, do not eat that shit. Cut them into pieces. No, I'm hungry. I want brownies. I ate them. I fucking ate a half a brownie. Said, fuck it. I was given another one. So I had two whole brownies left. Tell me how, fam. I ate more sour straws. The party begins. It's late at night. Everybody's dancing. We all dancing. Everybody's doing what the fuck they got to do. Everybody's fucked up. Bruh, 
Tell me how I ate more Sour Patch straws, whatever you want to call them. I ate more of those. I'm taking pictures with the family, whatever, with wifey and her family. Then I took a brownie. My nigga, I took the humongous bite. The brownie was like this big. I took a big ass bite, was chilling. People partying, blah, blah, blah. I gave a piece to my to one of my homies that was there. I still have one more left. So I decided to eat half of that. And wifey was like, yo, don't, you know, be careful, whatever. I didn't feel buzzed or nothing. And I'm drinking, mind you. I'm drinking, eating sour straws, and fucking eating brownies. I don't feel nothing, but I could taste the weed in that shit. But I was like, mm, mm, mm. I didn't give a fuck. The shit was good. So I'm eating it. Mm, mm. I was like, bet, I'm good. Mm, mm, mm. I was straight. I ate them shits. I took a half. I gave it to one of my girls, homegirls. I gave him one. There was another drunk bitch there. I don't know, but I didn't want it no more because I felt like something was going to happen to me had I ate this one too. I go to sleep that night. The shit still didn't kick in. I woke up in the middle of the night. Oh, what? Mm. My nigga, I wake up at like seven in the morning, fam. Seven in the fucking morning. Bruh. I don't know where the fuck I was. When I turned left, my soul didn't turn left until like two seconds later, my nigga. It was like lag compensation, my nigga. So then wifey goes, yo, you okay? You good? And I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck. I'm like, yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. My nigga, as soon as I lift my head up, I was like, yo. I, I legit was in slow motion, my nigga. I felt like I was in slow motion. This shit was ridiculous. Bro, I was bugging the fuck out. This is how you knew wifey was. I think she laughed. I don't know. But this is how you knew I was fucked up. I looked at my luggage. The luggage right beside me on the bed. And I told wifey, I need to go get my toothbrush, blah, blah. I need to brush my teeth, whatever. So I went and reached over and I looked over her and I said, babe, can you like hold me? So she held my arm. She was like, oh, you probably sick. You probably drunk. My nigga, I, I was high, my nigga. So she held my arm. Then I looked back and said, I said, hold me, okay? She goes, yeah. I said, watch me, okay? She said, okay. I reached to the luggage, looked back at it and said, protect me. I knew I was done from that point on. That point on, I knew there was something wrong with my body. I wasn't myself. I don't know who was me, but I wasn't me. And then as soon as one thought came about, a hundred more thoughts came through. I was scared. Nigga, I was scared of myself. I took the lock from my luggage and I like spin it a certain way and let go. Yo, I was paranoid. That shit had me nervous as fuck. And I think I might have fucked up the fun for everybody because I didn't get to do the excursion. Come to find out a few other people couldn't because they were high out their ass. One of my sister's boyfriends was high out his ass and he was like, hey man, I don't, I don't feel right. You feel like yourself? I'm like, nah, nigga, I don't. I don't even know what myself is like right now. Like, I don't even feel like, yo, I swear to God, I didn't even know I had a penis, my nigga. I couldn't feel nothing. Like, my dick and balls was numb. I was done. Yo, I left out the hotel walking past the resort. I'm thinking about shit like, you know, I'm thinking about the, the 60s. I'm thinking about fucking Abraham Lincoln. I'm thinking about fucking, did I wipe my ass this morning? I thought about, did I brush my teeth? I'm thinking about dumb shit. I'm thinking about, did I catch a copyright claim? I don't know. I'm thinking about mad dumb ass shit. I'm thinking about Flight Reacts' FTC. Let me stop. His song didn't exist. And I mean... Sadly, it exists now, but it didn't exist at the time. But I thought about Pretty Boy Fredo's fake, fake ass pranks. I thought about mad shit. I thought about a lot of shit. But I was just tripping. I thought, yo, it was, I was bugged the fuck out. I even thought about fucking DMB University. God, no, I didn't. Fucking fuck them. But anyways, I thought about mad shit. And as I'm walking, I'm looking at the cracks on the floor. And I'm like skipping over the cracks. I knew I was tripping. Then the leaves are touching me. And I started getting scared. Yo, let me tell y'all something. Don't ever eat edibles like that, bro. Don't ever. Yo, I swear to God, I was tripping the whole day. I had to go back upstairs, take a nap, this and that. I went outside, ate some jerk chicken. I shitted that out. I shit my guts out. I was. I didn't even puke, though. I was just shitting my brains out. I felt like I shit, I shit out my heart, my nigga. Like, I don't know what was going on. I laid in the bed. Normally, like, when I took my first pull of weed ever in life, I was okay. I was a little paranoid, but I was chill. This shit right here, my nigga, I felt like a full-time New York worker that was just stressed out their mind, bro. I was thinking about mad shit. I was thinking, yo, I couldn't even get hard, my nigga. I was like, yo, maybe this would be the best time to try to, you know, get something, you know, going on. Nothing, bro. Like, nah, not me. 
Not me. This shit don't work for me. This shit made me think about my life. This shit made me feel like I'm a shitty guy. I was like, damn, I must be a shitty ass boyfriend. I thought about mad whack ass shit. I can't smoke, bro. I'm not that type of guy. And edibles? Nah, -uh, not for me. Fuck that shit. I can't smoke. I can't eat edibles, bro. I can't eat motherfucking weed brownies no more. I'm never, no longer, bro. We took a, a little boat trip, whatever that night. And I'm looking at the ocean. I thought the ocean was like looking back at me, like nigga, like what's up? Like I, I'm trip. Bruh, this shit had me tweaking, bro. Yo, and then every time I'm walking, looking at like the, the guys who work there, Jamaican guys that work there and everything, and I'm looking at them, they're looking at me smiling. I, I don't even know. I, at the time, I didn't even know how to smile. Bro, I felt like this shit was never going to end. It actually lasted till the last day. No, until like a day after when I got home, like a few days. And then when I finally got home, it started wearing off. That's how much that shit lasts. That shit is dangerous as fuck. I wasn't myself, bro. I'm never again. Never again, never again gonna smoke weed. I'm not fucking eating edibles. I don't give a fuck. The shits was yummy though. I ain't gonna lie. Like those sour patches, sour straws, whatever the fuck they were, and the weed brownies, them shits was money. But I'm telling you right now, I can't eat that shit, bro. I ate like about a, a brownie and a half, and that shit made my life whack. My nigga, that shit had me fucked up. Everybody else is like, this, hey guys, what's up? Nigga, I was fucked up. I can't take weed brownies, bro. Like, I was scared of plants. I was scared of flies. I was scared of my own luggage. My nigga, I was scared of myself. My nigga, I felt like there was another person inside me. Pause. But, yo, I was tweaking. Bro, I don't know what the fuck it was. Edibles are just not my thing, bro. I just can't do it. Like, it's just... Fuck it. Fuck it. I'd rather just drink a straw burrito. Fuck it. I'd rather just have pink Moscato. That's it. I'm not going far further than that. Fuck it. Anyways, though... If you enjoyed this, um, check out my boy T. Martin. He got CSGO Lotto. Uh, check out DMB Nation University. You know what I'm saying? They got a great package. Check out Bianca's goofy-ass laugh. She's lit. Um, um, damn, am I just dissing people? Wow, I sound like a bad person. Anyways, though, it's your boy Thurgy. If you enjoyed the story, please hit that like button. I got more stories that are even better than this. More scarier, probably even funnier. But check out to hit that like button and subscribe. And make sure you guys check out my new videos and my recent videos. And I will be live streaming tonight. Anyways, though, it's your boy. And I'm out of here. You have a good one. All right, y'all. Make sure you guys subscribe to my Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Links will be in the description below. Oh, yeah, I told you, I told you. The weather's cold, we're getting older. Things even change when it gets colder. But we'll move on just like a mountain. The sun is gone.